name is Drashti Modi. I am currently a second year dental student at Indiana University School of Dentistry. I am originally from India. We immigrated in 2011 to Virginia and I have been in Richmond, Virginia ever since 2011 until 2019 uh, when I moved to Indy to start dental school. And the way I got involved in research was really through my undergrad training. Uh, my undergrad training is in microbial ecology research, which is something a little different for a pre-health student. But I was trained in a strong belief that wherever there's life, there's ecology. And whenever there's ecology, there's adaptation. And that has carried through into my dental research because now I do research in the department of cariology um, and public health at the dental school and my research is primarily based on looking at adaptations of bacterial biofilms and multi-species biofilms in um, different environment stressors. So research in general, I think I was seven years old when my grandfather gave me a very like toy version of microscope and we were looking at plant samples that we were planting in the garden that summer. So ever since then um, he planted this seed, pun intended, uh, in my head of looking at little things or the details of little things and how they play a big role in the final picture of something that's in your hand. So ever since 8-7 I have been relentless in pursuit of understanding the little details of all the problems and then understanding those details, figuring out solutions and creative ways to help solve the problems. And in dental school research is the gateway for me to not only enhance my current knowledge of dentistry but also figure out out how does this current knowledge work in a multidiscipline setting so how something that I'm looking up for a dental perspective could teach me two or three things about medicine or pharmacology or any other fields and how do they all play in role of our patient care my favorite part about being in research is just what I explained earlier is that if I start looking up one question, usually at the end of my search, I have maybe answered three, four, five questions. And that's, I think, what is the most dynamic and the most amazing area of research or the aspect of research is simply the fact that you might think you want to know one thing, but you walk away learning three or four different things. And then you're just more curious and more curious the next time you approach it. Being engaged in research, I have been able to present in various settings, not only just in person, but also submit proposals. So last year, I was able to work with another faculty at the school and submit a grant for um, getting funding for patients who are survivors of domestic violence um, in our student clinics. This year, the biggest crowning stone, per se, of my research achievements is I applied and I I got accepted to an NIH fellowship. It's called the Medical Research Scholars Program. So I will be attending um, a year-long fellowship in Bethesda, Maryland starting June of this year until next year um, in hopes of, again, just pursuing my current research in dentistry but also participating in various networking events and various continuing education classes just to see what research has in store for me in future and what I can bring back in terms of that cross-disciplinary approach. Um, and I do like the in-person and the communicative aspect of research because one of the most exciting things or one of the things that I do want to make it a core of my dental career is bridging the gap between science and societies. So how do I as a physician scientist in making can help my community or various communities understand and trust science in their own way. So I do want to come back as a physician scientist, work in academia, and hopefully have a research lab of my own. <laughs> So my current research um, is on two different projects. So right now I'm working with my postdoctoral uh, faculty mentor here in my current lab on a project that is looking at using plasma gas uh, to treat peri-implantitis or the biofilms that cause peri-implantitis. Um, that's one of the projects we're working on. The other project that is my uh, funded fellowship through school is looking at calibrating a biosensor to sense for pH and calcium changes um, that 
mimic karyogenic processes. So our goal is that if we get this biosensor calibrated to give us real-time changes in pH levels and calcium levels on a tooth surface, um, hopefully in the future we might apply this biosensor in um, a less privileged community or community who don't have regular access to dental professionals um, and sort of be on the preventive side of dentistry whereas we use these readings to predict how the caries disease is going to progress in that individual and then personalize the treatment according to that data. So that's two of the projects that I'm working on right now. So one of the things I always like to say to anybody who is interested in research is it is just an email or, hey, I'm interested in research, tell me more, phrase away. And here at IU School of Dentistry, we have a lot of different opportunities for student researchers who might want to you know test waters in research or for somebody like me who knew that the research is going to be a major part of my academic career and I already know I want research to be integrated in it we have avenues for both of these mindsets. For people who definitely know the area um, of the research that they want to go into or already have a project in mind that they just want to start, hit the ground running, um, reach out to the mentor or anybody, any faculty who's in that area of practice. Uh, for me, I reached out to faculty who were working on microbiology or who were working in public health because those are the two areas two areas of interest for me. If somebody is interested in tissue regeneration or more on the eukaryotic side of things, uh, there are lots of faculty who are very eagerly waiting for exciting students like you to come in and help them carry the dental research legacy on. Uh, one thing I would add in the end is simply that I know that as dental students, our schedules are booked even before we know that our schedules are booked. Um, and sometimes research does seem daunting because you don't get immediate results, which is completely contradictory of what we learn in dentistry. You know, a lot of the times people come to dentistry over medicine is simply that, you know, you see that more patient interaction, you see the immediate results of your treatment plan, and you get to build that bond with patient over time. In research, you still get to do all of those things. You still get to build a bond with patient, you still get to see the results of your hard work. It just takes a little bit more time and patience. So if you are somebody who's like me and are just very curious to know why are we doing the things we're doing in dentistry and how do we make them better? I think research is a great avenue to just engage while you're in dental school, um, but also something that you might want to keep engaged or you know keep getting involved in once you graduate. So definitely do think about making research a part of your dental school experience.